Hi, this is Diana Kennard with Remax Ultimate. I'm here today with Melissa and Tammy Gardwood, a mother-daughter team, owners of Redesign. Today we are talking about staging. As you know, it's a very important part of selling a home, and we're going to talk to them about their tips and tricks and insights. So let's get started. Where do you guys get your inspiration? I pretty much get inspiration every place I go. I observe all the details, the, the whole uh, style of the place, and uh, just enjoy seeing all the combinations of different elements. Ideas are everywhere. Uh -huh. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, we were at table 33 after we ate. We just walked through the restaurant and we're pointing out different elements that we love. I love going to restaurants because I think they're mm -hmm. always upcoming and trendy and using the, or at least newer restaurants. And a lot of times they will still redo and update according to common trends. And there are so many cool spots, even in the Dayton area or any metropolitan areas that bring in so many cool ways, similar design style, but they find a way of doing it a little different. So I walk into pretty much anywhere and I start immediately looking at the floor, you know, mm -hmm. looking at the, just everywhere. It's kind of an obsession. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and then I think after seeing things a lot, just like anything you get good at, it's because you have a lot of exposure to it. But after being exposed to a lot of things, trying different things, seeing it done a little bit differently, you start to pick up on it, and then the space you're in, you start to see how you can apply it. Over time, you get it becomes more natural. You can see it more easily. There's your vision becomes quicker, and uh, as far as how to create it in the space you're in. About establishing a style. I observe different <laughs> styles. Um, I study the elements of those styles, just uh, all the details that goes into making them. Then I analyze the house and the mm -hmm. spaces that we have and try to include some elements in each room that uh, provide a consistent theme and uh, use different uh, colors to try to draw it, draw it all together. We always want something that feels clean and bright and fresh. We're in a time right now where design pulls in a lot of natural elements, a lot of wood, a lot of metal, a lot of um, more natural and kind of rustic elements, which mm -hmm. I really love. And kind of, you know, the industrial, you can do it without it feeling too heavy or too masculine, but also you can do a house with more, <laughs> you know, kind of a feminine, feeling without it being too over the top and bring it down a little bit with those more like heavy elements. Would so. you say less is, less is more? Like, is that the type of style that we're moving into? Like less I is guess more I always am thinking about the restaurants and how 
exposed. They to used to be, and now it's like well, you may have no feelings anymore. They're exposing oh, yeah. that. Uh, I think more that authenticity is a big thing right now, and a feeling of realness and like a groundedness. Um, I think the natural elements, I feel like, uh, really warms the space up and makes it more inviting and uh, I, I, I do love that trend. Yeah, me too. It's definitely less ornate. It's mm, not like yeah. those ornate, yeah. kind of gaudy, Absolutely. Uh, design features that used to be popular. So I, I do think it's cleaner and sharper, but still warm. It's not too modern where it's just kind of boring and straight. Or it still has mm -hmm. the warmth brought in by the um, Yeah, thankfully there are so many cool places that have a similar, it's pretty obvious I think any, anywhere you go that's a newer design that those are the same elements are still very popular. And it's been, I mean, I feel like at least a decade or so, mm -hmm. where that metal and wood and um, combination is the most popular. So hopefully it's here to stay because a lot of places are using it. I don't know. How do you stay on top of interior design? I know you guys have kind of already touched on. You're always observing, you're always looking, but is there a go-to source? Online has a wealth of um, information, and <laughs> images, and ideas that are just, uh, yeah. yeah, you could spend your whole day looking at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Yes, Pinterest. yes. Oh, so, yeah. you know, so many ideas mm -hmm. and beautiful, beautiful things. And it does change, I mean, ever so slightly, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. even with just the color of hardware. The different styles of lighting, uh, it does change. Uh, mm -hmm. Even within quickly this, you know, yeah. the same kind of overall style of, uh, say, farmhouse or mm -hmm. uh, rustic, uh, those little changes occur pretty often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you get your safety pieces? Usually the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> places to find them. <laughs> it is really, it's really been fun to see how things do come into your life. Mm -hmm. um, when we first started, our staging pieces came from our dad. Yeah. He worked, um, he worked for a company that he would help do the maintenance and any pieces that were left after a family moved out. We're up for grabs, and so we grabbed them. <laughs> and we had a very strange and eclectic collection, if you might call it. And slowly we started to use those pieces and usually paint them, paint them, sand them down, uh, give them a new face. And if you even, I would like to like look back at a progression of even our painting for furniture because it's come a long way. And uh, We've tried a lot of different things, but yeah. Or one day, uh, I was out running in my in my parents' neighborhood, and when there was a garage sale earlier that day, and just uh, we really needed a dining table for the next house we were working on. And I'm running, and the runs right by a dining table just sitting on the side of the road, and I'm like. Yeah, yeah, that. Is yeah. that a solid wood dining table? Yeah, <laughs> you know, we sand it down yeah. and. Paint it and do. Thankfully, distressing is a really popular way of removing furniture because it doesn't have to be perfect, and it brings that element back. And you've got a solid. There have been. I mean, in this neighborhood, the chairs we're sitting in, the chairs around that table, we found yeah. them on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Niece and nephew helped drag them into this house, and so what you're Mom, really saying I mean, is, it, it, it comes find you. Kind of. <laughs> 
yeah, and what we have needed, or friends are like, hey, I've got a friend, um, our one of our really good friends, Marianne Bonetta, she had a friend who's just getting rid of a dresser, and she's like, hey, Mel, go pick up, uh, and then, you know, we, we can paint it and bring it back to life, so... Most, if you look around this house, the majority of the pieces we have found or inherited somehow. So we really don't, I mean, garage sales, we do purchase some items, mm -hmm. but usually they're $20 items. That's mm -hmm. like kind of our max. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I mean, yeah. watching